So my big quarterback love for week number seven, Josh Allen. Now, believe it or not, Allen is QB 13 this year on a per game basis. Thanks to the high floor his rushing numbers provide. Allen has at least nine rushing attempts or a rushing touchdown in every game this year. Again, Allen QB 13 on a per game basis, and he's done that despite not playing either of his two scheduled games against the Dolphins this year. That's going to change this week, however, when Allen gets to host Miami in Buffalo. Remember, Dolphins give up a league-high 24.8 fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks, and last year Allen, as a rookie, scored at least 28 fantasy points in both of his games against Miami. Dolphins' defense is kind of like a, like a fantasy cheat code for the quarterbacks facing him, right? It's just a... Hi, everybody, it's me, the bear of bad news. I'm a bear, and I bring bad news. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Barry, here's your bad news. It's yeah. all about your performance, pal. You're really mailing in. I haven't seen anyone mail it in this bad since Pottery Barn. <laughs> you know, with all those catalogs and stuff. Nice throw rugs, though, you know what I'm saying? Decorating. Woo! <laughs> all right, look, Barry, we all know who should start, you know, whoever plays against the Dolphins, okay? Let's give us some real analysis or whatever it is you do over here. Sure, sure, I'll be happy to do that. Why don't you go shop for an end table or something like that? Okay. I don't always love to do work, but if I must, I'll say that Kyler Murray also on the love list for me this week against the Giants. Murray, 21 rushing attempts over his past two games, second only to Lamar Jackson among quarterbacks in that time frame. He also only trails Jackson in rushing yards in that span as well. Again, rushing just keeps the floor high for quarterbacks. Murray has become the dual threat quarterback we saw in college. And more importantly, look how Murray's accuracy has improved in the past month compared to his first two games in the NFL. Last four weeks, Murray is hitting on 68.8% of his passes. That is ninth best in the NFL. So then you add in the fact that every team that has faced the Giants this year, except my semi-pro Washington Redskins, has had their quarterback score more than 20 fantasy points. So yeah, Murray is a big love for me this week. How was, how was that, Bear? Yeah? Was that sufficient analyzing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually only caught the part at the end where you did my buzzing thing, so uh, now I am suing. <laughs> For copyright infringing? <laughs> Quarterback hate time, and I want to start with a comparison. So the Amazon River is 4,000 miles long, is composed of 100% water, and has approximately 1,000 tributaries. Whereas Phillip Rivers usually throws for 4,000 yards, is composed of 60% water, and has approximately 1,000 children. Basically the same, right, Daniel? Daniel? Yeah, uh, sure, Matthew. Great Rivers bit you got going on here, bud. Well, ah, thanks, Daniel, I appreciate that. But I'd rather have the Amazon River right now in my fantasy lineup than Phillip Rivers. <laughs> that was a really long way to go to get to that joke, Matthew. Yeah, I'd say as long as the Amazon River, which, as I said, is four. No, stop! No, enough. Fantasy. Fantasy. Fine, fine, but I was trying to be educational. All right. Well, look. Here's some reasons I'm down on Philip Rivers this week. Still a fan of the Amazon River, to be clear. Look, Philip has averaged just 5.7 yards per attempt over his last two games. Second worst among qualified quarterbacks in that span. And this week. Caesar Sportsbook gives LA at Tennessee an over under of 40 and a half. That is the second lowest total of the week, only above New Orleans and Chicago. So I just don't expect Rivers to rack up the garbage time points he had in week six. Add to it that Rivers presides, provides absolutely nothing with his legs. He's got fewer rushing yards in his 16 seasons than Lamar Jackson has in his past nine games. Rivers' entire fantasy value hinges on his arm. And this week, Rivers has to face a Titans team that is a top 10 defense in terms of fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks, right? Fewest. So no thank you for me. I'm putting Philip Rivers on the hate list. I actually think he'll keep taking on water. You could even say river water. No, stop it, Matthew. <laughs> more accurate than Philip Rivers, by the way. One more quarterback hate I want to mention this week, and it's Jimmy Garoppolo. Do I hate him because he's young and handsome and his team is going to kill my Redskins this week? Honestly, yeah, kind of do. But I hate him from a fantasy perspective because, look, the 49ers are not going to need to throw the ball on Sunday. Don't get cute and start Garoppolo just because he's playing an awful team. The 49ers will lean on their defense and that run-heavy offense that throws at the lowest rate in the league. Garoppolo should be on benches this week. He's only my QB 19. Speaking of 19, here are my top 19 rivers. First up, the mighty Housatonic, starting in western Massachusetts. The Housatonic. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. Remember to download the free ESPN Fantasy app. And for streaming sports and premium content like The Fantasy Show, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+.